Another visit to the unique Norfolk Broads. This time for the grandkids to experience it. And what better place to start than Potter Hyam and the iconic medieval bridge. One of the most famous sites on the Broads. Built around 1385. Herbert Woods was certainly one of the pioneers of boating holidays here. I've often hired their boats. Not only that, their service is excellent and the way they treat their customers, exceptional. Not only that, their boats are first class too. We hired the Sunlight One that was low, easy to climb aboard and on one level and the absence of steps made it easy for Amy and the kids. Great facilities on board. The layout meant not only were we able to be together, but the sliding roof could be closed if it got too cold. My cabin. Nate and Amy were in the stern cabin with the kids. So we loaded the suitcases and food putting our clothes in the wardrobes and then the empty suitcases back in the car to save space. Well, we're ready to roll. Uh, actually, the weather is better than forecast. Uh, forecast to be dull, but we have a little sunshine. So looking forward to uh, sailing down the River Thurn and uh, having some fun today. After a briefing by the staff here, we were all set to explore. The sky was grey, but no rain, and a pleasant temperature. We'll cruise down the Thurn to Ranworth, where we'll rendezvous with Mike and Princess Elizabeth. The Thurn at Ranworth is the location of many delightful homes on each bank. In spite of the dull weather, we're all excited and happy as we set out. As usual, a thousand memories. But also looking forward to meeting up with Mike and Elizabeth. Nate is learning how to unfasten a button. He clearly takes after his dad. Now there's a memory. So Nate said to me he wants to go to the bank. I said, uh, if, if I'm not careful, <laughs> we'll be there in about 30 seconds. I said, why, why do you want to go to the bank? He said, I need to make a deposit. I told him we have two toilets on board. That's toilet humor. Ben wanted to eat the steering wheel. Arriving in Ranworth. This film is made for the memory, so we decided to let people share in it, but please don't expect a BBC documentary. It's a fun vid. Ran within the rain. I think Mike borrowed Colin's red MG.
The woodland adjacent to the Maltster's pub is an interesting place. I never walk past it without stopping to see what's there. Waterfalls and endangered species can often be seen. So after a cup of tea, we decide to give Mike and Liz a trip to Horning. Totally uninhibited by the poor weather, we enjoyed a pleasant trip through England's green and pleasant land, the rain providing a clue why it's green. The historic village of Horning, mentioned in the 11th century Doomsday Book, though only having a population of just over a thousand, it's nevertheless a busy little village in the summer months due to the river traffic. The medieval Swan Inn, a favourite place to get a good meal. The Mississippi Steamboat, a long way from home. Inevitably, when we pass the beautiful houses here, I pick out the ones that I want to buy, but never have enough money on me. By the way, I love Dvořák, and as his humoresque is playing, Michael Caine reminded me that not a lot of people know that humor is a Latin word meaning moist, from which we get the word humid. It originally referred to the four chief substances that ancient Greeks believed flowed through our bodies. Yellow bile, black bile, blood and phlegm. They were aligned with the four elements, earth, fire, air and water. And the ancients associated personality traits with them. By the way, dry humor is a great example of an oxymoron. And I say that with a dry tongue in cheek. I do remember taking the Mississippi River boat up the Mississippi in New Orleans, after which we visited the newly opened Disney World a long time ago. 
arriving in Wroxham, which some say should have been named Royston. Then back to Renworth, so Mike and Elizabeth could get their car and go home. Still raining. So more shots of my descendants. It's been a great day. Well, very occasionally, when I'm on the broads, the weather is not great and this is one of those occasions. So a little opportunity to see what it's like when it's raining. Strangely, the broads retain their charm even in the rain. Naturally, we'd like the sunshine and it's not easy handling the boat in the rain but certainly it's still fun. We're at Ramworth Stade on Malthouse Broad. We can hear both the church bells and the bird song. One of my favorite places here. The kids are holding hens. The mallards preening. It's a lazy day here. Fill up with water, get a newspaper and some milk from the shop. Feed the animals. Watch the world go by. Coffee and camera in hand. The open air eluding us. Though some don't mind the raindrops falling on their heads.
always time for a chat. And I'm always conscious that we're making memories. The twins are seven months old here, and these days are simply memories. Nate is a coffee connoisseur. He really does make great coffee. I like coffee. Good coffee. And he was tired of me complaining that I had to manually grind it. But it has to be a fresh grind. But we can hack this to make it better. Yes, he actually brought his cordless drill to save the hassle. Rainy days on the broads. So off we go. At times like these, I realize one of the joys of a boat on the broads is the opportunity to have a chat. Reminisce, perhaps. Another thing I love is to float. It's the nearest I get to flying. I suppose that's why I love the drones floating on air and the gadgets I can use for my camera to give the same effect. So enjoy the ride with us. We're heading up the river to Barton Broad, one of the biggest. This expansive river always enjoyable even when it's cloudy. Well, the rain has stopped and uh, we just passed Howe Hill, heading up to Barton. And uh, it's quite warm, it's quite nice really. There's not much sunshine, the sun keeps coming in and out. But uh, this happens, some broad strips are like this, but thoroughly enjoyable. Through Ersted next, a beautiful little village. Thatched roofs common, even the church is thatched. Oh, to be in England now that April's here, and whoever wakes in England sees some morning unaware that the lowest boughs and the brushwood sheaf round the elm tree bowl are in tiny leaf, while the chaffinch sings on the orchard bough in England, 
now. So every time I return, nostalgia awakens, triggered by sights and sounds. When I've been away for a while and I return, it's special. I've been here many times with my mum, once with my dad. So it's special to be here. Arriving Barton Turf. Hello. The rain still falling. The sea otter, a steamboat. We said hi. Beautiful. And John even sounded the horn for me. Thanks, John. What a majestic creature. Then up the river Ent to Hansett Mill. An iconic broad scene. The river as calm as a mill pond. We're pottering along with Hunset Mill in the background. It's our last day, so we're just enjoying every last aspect before we go home. We then returned the way we came. Usted is very, very peaceful, very quiet, always a lot of warblers around. You get a lot of bird song. And uh, in the evening like this, it's just a really, really beautiful place just to cruise through here. Very nice.
Did a FaceTime with Rachel in New York? and then made our way back to the boatyard in Roxham. Filming some aerobatics okay. on the way. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, be sure, just watch. Oh, your turn. Watch for the pike. My comment was, watch out for the pike fish. They grow to enormous sizes here. By the time we reached the boatyard, it was raining again. But it was a nice feeling as I just filmed the rain. We'd had a great time together, another memory, and I hope you enjoyed it.